welcome back to Natural's channel. I'm Sierra and I will be talking about my staple products um, that I like to use. Okay. Let me just get right into this. So I'm going to start off with like my um, my body, my face and things like that. So those things. So um, I have a first impress, two first impressions um, on something because it was my, I just bought this, <clears throat> these things, and my first time trying it. So I've been looking for a face, a face cleanser for a very, for a while now. Um, I've done a lot of different reviews. I wanted something as natural um, as possible. Um, I don't like the whole chemical things. My face doesn't break out at all, at all. I have a pimple or a bump here and there, but it's not often. So I didn't want to, I guess if you say, you know, they say if, if something isn't broke, don't fix it. So I didn't want to add anything to what I was already doing, which was just washing my face with water, warm water, and then putting on um, lotion, moisturizer, something like that. But I am getting older and things change as you get older. Um, and even after having kids and things. So I wanted to start using a face cleanser to clean my face and make sure that I was getting um, my pores and all that stuff clean. So, um, I tried the Burt's Bees, um, deep pore scrub. This one is the peach and willow bark. And so all you do with this, you just wet your face. Um, you put it on your hands and you just in a circular motion, put it, um, put it all around your face and then you can just immediately just wash it off. So, um, after I did that, um, which was last night for the very first time, my face, it really felt really, really smooth. And not only did it feel smooth, but it actually felt pretty moisturized. So it didn't feel dry um, or anything like that. And so I like that. So I will keep you guys posted with this product because I'm going to keep on using it. Um, and we're just going to see what happens. Now they do say to follow it with the moisturizer by this, but I found a moisturizer that I absolutely love, which is jojoba oil. Um, so after I wash my face, I just put this on. So what this one says is to put it on, <clears throat> um, on for your face morning and at night. So that's what I've been doing. And honestly, my face definitely stays moisturized for the entire day. Um, and you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're putting oil on your face. But to be real, like my face doesn't look oily it doesn't feel oily or anything like that it really absorbs into your skin and it in your face just feels soft as ever um and and i absolutely love it like i think i'm maybe a little bit i'm probably like right here i think i can see um right here so i'm probably going to order another one probably like today um so that i can get it in time but you can also use it for your entire body um Jojoba oil isn't that cheap, um, especially getting the bigger bottles. So I'm not, I don't use it for my entire body. I just use it for my face because that's what I was looking for, a face moisturizer. Okay. So for my body, as far as moisturizing, I tried the Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Couscous uh, Body Butter with black castor oil. Um, <clears throat> once again, was looking for something um i've tried you know jergens i've tried just cocoa butter and things like that my skin it doesn't it, it gets dry you know and being a black woman definitely you're gonna get ashy i'm not trying to walk around with no white elbows no white knees white ankles okay so i really wanted to try and find something that once again was very very natural with um not a lot of chemicals not a lot of ingredients because the less ingredients the more natural something is so um, I wanted to try this and I'm like, I'm pretty close to the bottom with this also. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see. So I've used quite a bit of it. I'm probably halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. But this stuff, oh my gosh, skin feels so soft, so moisturized. And to be honest, I don't have to reapply this throughout the day. Um... Once again, you shower and I put it on. So that's what I use as my um, my body moisturizer. So another first impression is this. 
the Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hand and Body Scrub. So I picked this one up because I have tried. I've tried their deep conditioner and I've tried, there we go. I've tried their deep conditioner and I've also tried, um, I'm trying to remember. Maybe it was just the deep conditioner, but I, I really love that deep conditioner to be honest. Um, but I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I might as well just try it. So once again, I tried it last night for the first time and I just did um, a hand scrub. It gives you a lot of different ways to use this. So you can use it for your entire body. Um, you can use it in just certain areas, I guess. Um, but it also gives you instructions on like if you're trying to just use it for a hand treatment. So that's what I did. it. So what they say is you want to mix it up because the oil that's in here kind of it seems like it rises to the top of this jar. So what you want to do is um, mix it up and I just used my finger because I was going to put it on my hands anyway. But I just mixed it up and I just took, you know, a small amount of it, maybe a nickel size, maybe a nickel size. And then it says to rub it in your palms and then just all around your hands, around your cuticles and things like that. Um, it has like a, almost like a sugar texture. So I'm sure that is to get the dead skin and things like that off after i washed my after i rinsed my hands with um warm water oh my gosh my hands felt so soft and so moisturized like i didn't even feel like i needed to put any moisturizer on my hands and i always like to do that at night like i just my hands get so dry because i'm constantly washing my hands throughout the day i work with kids so i'm constantly washing my hands all all day all day so my hands definitely get dry and I get dry dry areas mostly here um on my fingers but yeah they they get so dry so <clears throat> but after using that definitely felt like I did not need another moisturizer or anything like that so that was pretty awesome so I'll continue to use that and I will definitely continue to let you guys know how it's working out for me and even after I try it on my entire body I will let you guys know so that is Oh, and then I have my body wash that I use. This is a Carol's Daughter Almond Cookie um, Sulfate Free Cleansing Gel. Um, first off, this stuff smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love it. And as you can see, I am, let's see if I can, I'm at the bottom of this. So I'm going to go get another one of these. And I just got this from uh, from Walgreens. And I love that stuff. And I actually got the lotion too. Um, but once again, like I said before, um, a lot of lotions, just it just doesn't work for me. Um, I found that the oil works um, really, really good. I do put this on because it smells wonderful um, on my entire body. Um, but um, maybe it's the winter time, so it might not work as great because it's super cold here. So...